M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one on the programming software for the Anytone 779. Now you can see that you do need a cable on the left there, it plugs into the microphone connector and it's a USB cable. And once plugged in, when you right click your device manager, you will get a port number in here. So let's look at the actual software. Now you can either download this from Moonraker, I've got a copy and I've noticed that McClaw has a copy as well. He also has uh, all the firmware and even a video installing the firmware. So let's have a look at the software. I'll click the Moonraker site, thanks to Moonraker. Open up their, their zip file, which I have ran. Uh, double click and then you want the setup one here. Click yes. Okay, so we'll click finish to launch the software and it's nice and easy. Everything is here. Now your radio, if you read from your radio, click program, read from radio. I haven't got the radio. You'll find that most of these radios have been pre-programmed by the seller and they'll be full of programs. But if you wanted to change one, just uh, you can do the shortcut changes here just by selecting these frequencies, steps, channel spacing, TX power, CT, CSS. But if you want the full window, just click the double, double click the little arrows here where it says more and then you end up with this window and there's a many more parameters that you can change and this is an analog radio vhf uhf and then you know you go through the different settings that's your com to select your com remember right click device manager read and write from radio edit and then you've got functions here channel edit there's one dtmf you can just key the mic and just type it on the mic on the keypad. Emergency communication note. Model information when you're connected that will be displayed. File and then you can actually export the file so you can go save. Save a file somewhere, it's a data file. Just save it into your configuration, um, the file you've created for your Anytone 779. Let's double click a few more of these tones, scanning sections. So that's it, really. it's very straightforward. You double click, type in the frequency 145.600. I think if it's got a shift, then you'll be putting in a different frequency for your receive 145.000. And you can add your tone. There's your tone there. We need to go optional settings. Let's click the big arrow for that. Here. Let's look at these settings. CTCSS, DCS. So let's say 94.8 for GB3WR. Channel name. Just put in GB3WR. You've got your receive, transmit. Selections there for TX on off. I think that's all you need to do. Power, select your power. So go middle here. Not using DCS. You can have encode and decode. So encode's probably the one you would use, I would say. That's on your TX. On the decode, it's up to you because some do, some don't. If you go, if you select it on decode, it means you won't hear all the beeps and you won't hear all the hash sound at all. Uh, it'd be a nice quiet operating, but I always just do it on Denko because I may I do like hearing all that. DTMF tone squelch etc, and that's it. And then you've got your channel created, and at the end of this, just click right, right to radio, and that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Nice easy one for the programming of the seven seven nine seven three.